And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Oklahoma City Thunder here at their home, Paycom Center. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. And the Cleveland starting five. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Mitchell and Okoro, they're the wings. And it's Garland in at the one. And for the Thunder, in at forward, it's Dordan Williams. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, we've got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. It'll be the Thunder off the tip. Mitchell against Giddy. Using his post moves to get the two points. And Giddy hard to corral at his size. The drive by Garland. Pass to Mobley. And here's Garland. Counted. The yeah, defense looked a little bit confused on that play as Garland moved nicely. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. And now here's Garland over Gilgis Alexander. Here's Mobley. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. Throw good, Mobley. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Basket's good. Giddy's got the second bucket. Getting assertive and getting inside. Mitchell against Giddy. Outside Mitchell, throws it up high, and Mobley throws it down. <laughs> and how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Mobley against Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Great D that time from Allen. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. Two minutes and I thought he laid straight up and in. Minutes. Here's a Kuro. 152 left in the first. Five on the clock. And stolen by Williams. And he lays it in on the break. And the quickness in transition. I mean, I like watching Williams convert in these situations. Pass to Mitchell, out of bounds, of the Oklahoma City's ball. Oklahoma City ball! A different look for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in for Holmgren. Robinson Earl comes in for Williams. And Joe subbed in for Giddy. Struess, he's checked in for the Cavs. Karis LeVert comes in for Mitchell. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And he got 
got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one's on Darius Garland. So slippery in there. Gilgis Alexander makes great adjustments to get what he wants. Gilgis Alexander. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. The Thunder making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander, really something to see. An incredible instinctual scorer and just a knack for making things happen offensively, whether that means him scoring or setting up others. This guy is an elite offensive player. Now here's Rubio, six to shoot. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Williams. Inside. Slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Well, at 6'6", SGA absolutely has the size to get up there and throw it down. Rubio against Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Three seconds left in the opening quarter. And yep, Ricky it's good. Rubio. Ricky Rubio playing Assistant super ball. confident right now. Truth. Thunder with a lead. Pass to Williams. Here's Robinson Earl, covered by Struess. Robinson Earl, no good. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's LeBert. Still no points. Shot clock at six. Shoots from 12. No good. And on defense, LeBert is so crafty, using his agility and quickness to keep the other man off balance. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Thunder, up by one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. And with the surge in scoring around the league, Brent, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scores in this league, has a ton of them, a steady diet of shooting from three. And you got to keep them guessing. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Then it's Josh Kitty. Then there's Lou Dort. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going in the second. Williams. Soft touch off the glass. Williams has got his second basket of the game. And he is stronger than he looks, trust me. I mean, Williams has the bulk to win those tough battles inside. Here's Okoro. Holmgren with the block. They get it back. Guarded by Garland. From deep, Giddy. He drops it from range. Giddy's got seven points. 
growing confidence of Josh Giddy, a thing of beauty, just taking a quick shot. Many people were disappointed that Chet Holmgren lost his rookie year to injury break. Well, none more so than Chet Holmgren, who's an incredible competitor. But all of the talk is the anticipation around him coming back more well-built, more skilled, and ready for the league in what it has to offer a big man. Now, here's Williams. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. He is such a smart player. Jalen Williams making people around him better. Okoro passes to Mitchell. They need this. Offensive rebound. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight we see that pay off for one and a closer look here at the hustle stats for oklahoma city they've made an effort to get out and run using their speed and transition and scoring before the defense can get set sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession so you get a steal and you can get out and transition they seem to be very focused on that end of the floor we throw good mobley and Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have Two some strength to add. The Cavs have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Pass to Jerome. Allen outside. There's a minute 47 left to play in the second quarter. Up high and down it goes on the lob. You could put that ball just about anywhere for Jared Allen. Puts those long arms to great use. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren. Now Dort hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Tipped away. And we're going to have a jump ball. You two. That'll be a jump ball. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Cavaliers have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. 114 left in the first half of this game. Here's Jerome. Gilgis Alexander defending. Holmgren with the block. Holmgren, great length. That works for him all over the floor. Oklahoma City ball. A different look for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in for Williams. Wiggins comes in for Dort. And Joe subbed in for Giddy. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Pass to Holmgren. Wiggins with it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. He'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Gilgis Alexander does a good job of just staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. First free throw is good. In that 2018 draft, you think about those names, Doncic, Young, Aiton, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Boy, that's a lot to begin with. Rubio's checked in for the Cavaliers. Both free throws good from Gilgis-Alexander. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. well. It's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, B.A. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. Well, the defense has got to bring a little bit more. Hitting Allen like that is not going to prevent him from scoring. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Holmgren against Allen. Holmgren, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. 
Five to shoot. Second shot opportunity. SGA using that size. Greedy player in close. Gilgis Alexander with the extra effort. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Thunder out in front. They're up by five. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jets Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. Looking at the Thunder, Kenny, how'd you see it? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. You love the pacing, the flow. Very efficient. Value and possession is fueling their success right now. This is not a team you want to bet against. At least not. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Cavaliers? Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage in the high 50s and expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. One guy who's been getting it done is Josh Giddy. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. Mitchell and Okoro, they are the wings. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. And it's Garland in at the point guard position. And that size and versatility make Jared Allen so hard to defend. Thunder with a lead. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9", with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Here's Mitchell. The Thunder making their last shot. Allen outside. Pass to Garland. Back to Allen. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. And the Thunder shooting at around 60% in this one. Very efficient. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. And he gets that one. Holmgren's gotten his first bucket of the night. And Giddy just that sixth sense to find the open man. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Here's Mobley. And it's Kitty with a rebound. And Kitty has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Seven point differential. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the game. Keeping that ball. Absolutely on the string. Gilgis Alexander capable of getting creative. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Gilgis Alexander against Garland. Over Gilgis Alexander. Garland, no good. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Pass to Holmgren. Dort against Mobley. Back to Holmgren. It's Dort on the wing. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Robinson Earls checked in for Oklahoma City. 
Man comes in for Gilgis Alexander. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. The Cavs trailing. Outside Garland. Here's Mobley. The Thunder pull it in. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing. But they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Now here's Garland. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Garland does a good job there getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. At the line for the Cavaliers, Darius Garland. First one falls. Getting to the line more since his career has gone on. Garland, a deployable free throw shooter. For the Thunder, Williams is checked in for Williams. Wiggins comes in for Dort. And Joe's subbed in for Giddy. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The Thunder have gone an impressive 5 of 5 so far in the third quarter. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Wiggins looking around. The shot comes out. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D. The Cavaliers have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Niang. Outside for Levert. Here's Struess. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder ending the quarter up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And the Thunder shooting 65%. Their offense has been on another level. They've got Shea Gilgis Alexander, Lugans Dort out there with Holmgren. And it's Joe in at the two. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. This is a good look and a routine one for Chet Holmgren. We're not going to see him waste many of those opportunities that close. Here's Jerome. Got it. Good job in the low post. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Dort. Pass to Joe. Back to Dort. Just five on the clock. Fires the three, and the three-pointer goes. Well, if you're looking for a three and D player, Dort plays D, and there's your three. Jerome passes to Levert. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Here's Jerome. 
Over Gilgis Alexander. And that one's long. Uh, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Pass to Williams. And he's going for the lob. And Williams punches it home. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like it. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why, B.A., he's got this low center of gravity. He gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. Giddy in for Joe. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. He did his best to light a fire under them, saying, we have to fight. Now is the moment we have to come out of this deficit swinging. Guys, thank you for that, Allie. The screener was Cavaliers leaning a bit right division. there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call. Rubio's checked in for Levert. Giddy against Mitchell. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Giddy. A minute 53 left to play in the fourth. No good with a layup. Mitchell finds Allen. No luck on that one. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. And those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Mobley. And here's Rubio. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Down by 15. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Thunder. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. The B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Josh Giddy. It felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession, and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Now here's Giddy. There's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Sees the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Shooting two. one falls for him. And what's really impressive about Josh Giddy is his versatility. And it's such a young age, Brent. Yeah, Giddy at 6'8", B.A., I think it's awesome because his size allows his skills to be accelerated and magnified. He sees over the top of a lot of defenders, and he can out-quick them, not with his feet, but with the pass.
He's off on the second. And Giddy, one of those guys who, when he's on the floor, plays with that kind of joy that Steve Kerr often talks about with Steph Curry. This is a guy who wants to keep improving in any way that he can. Struess's shot is off. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A., they deserve the win. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Aaron Wiggins. Rubio with the ball. Pass to Niang. To stop the drought. No good on the layup. And so Oklahoma City takes this one, and by a big margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that'll do it, folks. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.